the masked one, AH, coming at you through your glowing screens via YouTube. Welcome back to A Road to Infinity War. In this episode, we'll be discussing Avengers Age of Ultron. What did I think about the movie? I thought it was it was decent. I don't think that it was horrible. I don't think that it was great either. It had some great aspects to it. Love that first opening scene in which you see the Avengers avenging at Sokovia and then they are in, we're introduced to we and then as and then we are introduced to the quote unquote enhanced uh, Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch. I thought this was a great scene. I thought this was a great scene, and it really, uh, I really enjoyed it because it had aspects of the Avengers, the or original Avengers, in which you had the Hulk. He was fighting, and then it cut to Thor. And I really like how the superheroes used each other's abilities in order to have like a super ability uh like when thor smacked his hammer and then we are introduced to the quote-unquote enhanced uh quicksilver and scarlet witch i thought this was a great scene and it really uh i really enjoyed it because it had aspects of the Avengers, the or original Avengers, in which you had the Hulk, he was fighting, and then it cut to Thor, and I really like how the superheroes used each other's abilities in order to have, like, a super ability, uh, like when Thor smacked his hammer on uh, Captain America's shield. One thing I didn't like about uh, this this uh, movie was the forced relationship of Black Widow and Bruce Banner, aka the Hulk. I don't know, I felt it was forced, it was awkward. Not to say that the actors didn't do a good job of acting, it's just that, you know, as far as I know, in The Winter Soldier, there was no scene with, you know, uh, Black Widow and Bruce Banner. So, the last time I know that they've gotten together was Avengers. So it just seemed really uh, forced on us and out of the blue. By the end, it's more, you're, you're more accepting of the relationship, but it's still a little awkward. Uh, the, the villain, Ultron, uh, he was okay, I guess. I, I really liked his plan on bringing an extinction level event. Uh, raising Sokovia really high and then bringing it down. I thought that that was, I thought that was a pretty clever way of destroying the world. Um, I liked, I liked how Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver, when they realized, uh, when they realized Ultron's plan, they decided to help the Avengers. I thought. It, it was believable for me. Scarlet Witch was out to, you know, get the Avengers, and she realized that, you know, they were, th they were the good guys. They weren't trying to bring on the, the extinction of humanity. All right, Tony Stark's hubris is a little bit out there. You know, like the first time. All right, I'll, I'll give you a pass. I understand that Scarlet Witch. <coughs> fucking Oops, sorry. <laughs> Let's cut. I'll give you a pass, right? I understand the Scarlet Witch, you know, you messed with your head. Uh, but I can't give you a pass for the second time, Tony. No way. I can't. I just, I really can't. Like, especially since you didn't communicate that with the rest of the team. If it wasn't for Thor, that, you know, poop would have went down. Shit would have went down. There, I said it. Uh, you know, it. I just really, I, I was like, oh, again, Tony. Like, it just didn't really make. 
it didn't really make any sense to me. Like, especially after the first time. Like, I don't, I, I like to think that if I created something that was trying to bring on the death of all humanity, that I wouldn't want to make something equal or more powerful than that thing that I just made. But I guess that's just me. I, I may be the only one in the world that thinks that way. <clears throat> so, at, you know, in, in conclusion, like, Avengers Age of Ultron is not a bad film. It's a combination of Avengers, Iron Man 2, and Iron Man 3. And I say this because as I was watching uh, the film, I was like, this reminds me of something. And then I thought about, you know, Iron Man 3 and how, you know, they had, he, there was a bunch of uh, robots and uh, other beings that, you know, the, the flame, the flame, flame guys, Guy Pierce's minions, right? And then in Iron Man 2, the robots that were created by Hammer Industries by way of Whiplash. So it seemed like they took little bits and pieces, little bits and pieces of Avengers, Iron Man 2 and Iron Man 3 and just put it all into Avengers Age of Ultron. So at some points it's it, it seemed stale. And then at other points, you know, I I had fun. So, not like, again, I'm saying it's not a horrible movie. It's a fun popcorn flick. It doesn't, it doesn't why you like Avengers. It doesn't have the heart as Thor or Guardians of the Galaxy. It has a spectacle of all the, the previous films. And it still stays true to uh, all of its characters, which is which is which is good to see. And um, I'm glad that I watched it. And now I'm on the next film that I'm going to be watching is Ant Man. As always, positive vibes to you and yours. The masked one, A H. Out.